Hi there. My name is Linda Jo Martin. I'm the book lady on YouTube and I'm doing the clean slate tag that was started by Michael at Catalyst Reads. Link is in the description on the, of the video on YouTube. Let's get started. The first question, are there any genres you're going to read more or less of in 2018? In general, I'm planning to read more fiction and less nonfiction. Other than that, I'm not really planning to do any one particular genre. It'll be across the board, a variety. Are there any books you have recently read that changed or challenged some of your own philosophies and beliefs? And I would say A Thousand Splendid Sons about the lives of Muslim families in Afghanistan. What an eye-opener. He did feature at least three different Muslim families. So you get um, a good idea of the variety of types of families over there. And uh, excellent writing. I loved this book. Who would you recommend for a newbie to watch? I recommend that you watch other newbies because they're more likely to be responsive to you, to comment on your videos to just create a friendship with you. Whereas people who have been here a long time probably don't need more friends or more videos to comment on. They've, they're, they've been busy for a long time. So do you have a reading book bucket list? I have TBR lists on Goodreads and on Pinterest and my official TBR list is on my own blog, lindajomartin.com, in the 2018 Pop Sugar Reading Challenge list page. So, uh, what, what is it about BookTube that has surprised you the most? What surprises me is how much fun it is and how wonderful it is to make friends there with other people who love books. What are some of your goals? In general, I prefer to create habits rather than just have goals, but I did make a goals video. It's on the web already. And I had goals for reading, writing, booktube, and uh, personal goals. One of my reading goals is the Pop Sugar Reading Challenge. One of my writing goals is to do daily practice writing for at least 15 minutes, either fiction or poetry. One of my booktube goals is to produce a video daily. I may not be able to do that daily. However, why not give it a try? If you don't try, you never know what you can achieve. Next question. If you could meet dead or alive, any writer, artist, or musician, who would they be? My first thought was King David, the one who wrote all the Psalms. Not all the Psalms, but a lot of them. But then I thought, he might be a little bit scary. He was a warrior king, you know? So I was thinking maybe Van Gogh, the artist, because I love his paintings, and I would just love to tell him how popular his paintings would be in the future. and sort of encourage him not to give up. Unfortunately, he committed suicide rather early. And if I had been able to be there to discourage that, I, I would go and tell him not to do it. Would you rather have your life written by your favorite author or be portrayed in a movie by your favorite actor or actress? And I do not have a favorite actor or actress so I will go with my life being written into a book by John Steinbeck. Unfortunately, he's not around anymore, so I'm probably going to have to write my own life story or memoir. What are some of the challenges that you have had to overcome or would still like to improve upon in regards to your channel? I really need a better camera with good audio. What advice would you give to someone who is thinking about deleting their booktube channel? I would say do not delete your channel. You can unpublish your videos instead of deleting them, but do not delete them because it's so much trouble to upload them again when you change your mind and decide you want to be on YouTube anyhow. Who do you tag? I tag 
Maria at Read, Create, Repeat Homeschool, and I tag Anna at Two Book Obsessed. You've both been tagged for the Clean Slate tag. Have a nice day, everyone. Happy reading.